right, folks. While we are still in the uh, midst of a uh, the tail end of our polar vortex here in on the prairies, uh, it's still uh, pretty chilly outside. We're just coming off some pretty serious cold temperatures, but I've still got gardening on the mind. I refuse to be defeated. So uh, we're going to continue on uh, with our uh, our lettuce growing uh, project that we've got going on. So uh, our uh, Little uh, seedlings <clears throat> have uh, finally come around and are starting to look pretty good. So I think it's about time to uh, to plant them out uh, into some jars uh, using the cracky method of uh, hydroponics. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, stick around and we will uh, get these guys into their jars and uh, start their growing process. Majority of our seeds have uh, germinated. Uh, there's a few varieties uh, that were from some seed packs from last year that uh, don't look like they've uh, come up, but at least a couple from each of the different uh, six varieties that I planted have come up. So we are going to uh, plant out maybe two of each and, and just see. Again, this whole thing for me is a, is a real experiment. I've never done any hydroponic growing before, and so we're doing it as simple and as, uh, and as easy as we can to uh, keep me from screwing up too bad, but um, like I say, it's a bit of an experiment. So let's go through a bit of uh, the different items that we're gonna use today to plant things out. So first off, the seedlings. We've got some seedlings. They've all got their, uh, a set of their true leaves um, and are getting at least a, another second set or third. So they're all ready to get going. In fact, they're looking a little wilty. I think they'd like to get out of here as quick as possible. So we're going to prick these out of here uh, and be careful about the roots and then we're going to plant them into these uh, little starter pods. Then those will go into uh, these little net pots um, such as that and uh, from there the roots sort of grow through um, and grow through into uh, these jars. So we have one liter uh, wide mouth mason jars. We've got uh, these three inch net pots that will go on the top there and then we've got these uh, these little starter plugs that we'll be planting things into. So, um, those are the items we're going to be using. As far as the nutrients go, um, I'm going to be using this uh, Jiffy, uh, Jiffy Hydro Nutrients. It's an all-purpose, uh, including hydroponics, um, and it's a water-soluble um, thing, but it's just a one-step thing. You just mix one type and uh, use that for the nutrients. So that's what I'm going to try. Um, and uh, those of you with way more experience with this than I have, uh, you can let me know whether that is foolhardy or not, but that's what we're going to go with. And uh, like I say, it's an experiment, so we'll see where we get to. Okay, so let's start pricking some of these out and getting them into the, uh, into the uh, net cups. And I'll show you how this uh, cracky method uh, setup sort of works. Um, so what I learned last year was one of the good little tools was just a... Uh, plastic spoon like that and you break off a couple of the uh, tines on the plastic spoon and that tends to be a pretty good little digger uh, for just sort of digging in around um, the roots without damaging too much and trying to get them out. So let's try and uh, see if we can't pull a couple of these little guys out carefully and we just sort of dig around the outside for a little bit first and just sort of uncover a bit see what we can discover and you, the real thing is you don't want to damage the roots as you pull out, so you want to sort of loosen that soil first, and then once they sort of start coming up, then you can try and separate them. If you've got a couple of seeds that have germinated, which I usually do, uh, in the same thing, then you can try and sort of prick them out. So there we go. I've got that guy coming out pretty good. Now you want to grab them by the leaf, not the stalk or anything else. Now the next thing we're going to need is one of those rock wool cubes. And what we're going to do is we're just going to use a sharp knife um, that's been cleaned, uh, hopefully with some hydrogen peroxide or something like that, but a good clean knife so it's not going to cause any uh, harm. Uh, and we're just going to cut down that cube down to the middle of that thing, just down to where that hole is and just open it up slightly, just like that. 
Okay. Then from there, we can take our nice little starter and we're just going to lay it inside. And we want the top of that to be about where it would be, you know, if you were planting it. So about the same. And preferably you've got just a little bit of root sticking out the bottom like we have there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but just like that. So that now we have this little guy just like that. Okay. Then if we grab one of those net cups, three inch net cup, <clears throat> and what we want to do with that net cup is just put a small layer of these little clay grow media down on the bottom of that just to, uh, just to give a, a layer on the bottom just like that. And then we're going to pop that guy down on top of that, just like so. And then we're going to fill in just sort of around, fill in just around that with these guys. And then we're going to put a few on top as well. And what these are going to do is hold this guy in place as that plant gets bigger and it's also going to uh, keep some of that um, sunlight out um, and it's going to keep uh, the algae from growing on top because we don't want the algae growing on top so be careful about your plant there you don't want to harm him or her there we are and that should do just like that okay just like so okay so now we're going to prepare that jar uh, <coughs> for that pot that we just planted uh, so first things first you want to take this uh, uh, lid off um, and then put that ring back on and with that ring you should get uh, a good fit for those neck pots they just sort of pop right in there and they sit over top and that's just perfect so that's going to fit just nicely um, one thing we want to do though is black that out so that no light's getting in so that we don't uh, have algae growing in that, uh, in that nutrient while the, um, while the lettuce is growing. So we're just going to use uh, some tin foil for that and we're just going to basically wrap the, uh, wrap the jar in tin foil. Okay, so that's all covered up now and our net pot can just sit right inside just like that okay so what we want to do as far as the nutrient goes knock that thing over what we want to do as far as the nutrient goes is fill it up just up to where the net pot sits so just to the bottom of that net pot okay and what that'll do is as the roots start to grow down into the uh, into that nutrient, the roots will drink up that nutrient as the plant grows. And the Kratky method suggests that it will drink the nutrient as the plant grows, giving a certain amount of the roots more air and giving a certain amount of the roots the right amount of nutrients thus giving it the right mixture of oxygen and water or nutrients. So the method says that if you fill it up to the bottom of that, as the plant grows, it'll drink it down and it'll self-regulate sort of how much water it needs and how much air it needs, which I think is a really neat thing. So that's what we're gonna try and that's what we're hoping for. So what we need to do with this guy is fill it up just that full. So I will now pull these guys out. And we'll transfer that over to this one. And that right there should be all that guy needs to grow other than the light that we're going to stick it under uh, downstairs. So let's uh, finish pricking the rest of these out and uh, fill the rest of these jars and uh, we'll get back at you then and uh, then we will uh, put these guys under the lights that we built in the last video. Okay.
Okay folks, well there they are, all snug in their crack key jars. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. Uh, like I say, it's all, all an experiment for me, this is all new, so we'll uh, check back with you in a couple of weeks, and we'll see how they're growing, and uh, see if we can make any adjustments at that point. But uh, it's all good fun, so uh, thanks for coming along, and uh, we'll see you next time.